All right, so welcome back here, everybody. And in this final lesson for part one of our rigging tutorial of this flower, we're going to go ahead and basically finish up the um, actual rigging of our flower. And what we need to go ahead and do is we need to go ahead and actually rig our pots, um, which include our dirt, um, our top pot, or the main portion of our pot, and the bottom piece of our pot. Um, as you can see, I still haven't gone ahead and done any of the facial stuff, and we're going to go ahead and be covering that in the second part, um, or um, if I have to, actually in the third part. Um, but for right now, we want to go ahead and basically complete the entire <coughs> flower rig before we go ahead and um, start actually rigging the face and the tongue and, and everything that we're going to go ahead and do there. So let's go ahead here and jump in and um, rig our pot and this is going to be basically fairly simple um, all we really need to do is just draw two different joint chains here um, skin our model and actually go ahead and place some IKs in our scene here so let's go ahead and grab our joint tool jump into our front view here okay and I'm not going to go ahead and actually click in the middle here um, this is because if I did that Maya has a tendency to go ahead and connect all these joint chains to this one joint chain and I don't want to go ahead and do that do that because I want to keep the actual joint chain for the the pots here completely separate from what is going to be or what is the um, say main body part of the flower so let's just go ahead and grab our joint tool we'll go ahead and click and then we'll go ahead and drag over here um, and these joint chains are basically going to be fairly simple here so we'll just draw that main one for our pot for the main portion of our pot and we need to go ahead and draw it for our second um, pot for our bottom and we'll basically just try to snap this to there and I think we're okay there so we just might need to move that over a little bit there okay so now we can go ahead and skin our mesh to this so let's just go ahead and turn off all of our stems our petals so now all we have in our scene is basically our pot and our controls for our um, flower here so let's go ahead and skin this now just select our joint chain select the pot and the dirt come up here to skin bind skin and we're just going to use the same settings that we used before um, max influences can probably go down to like three though so we'll go ahead and apply that and let's just go ahead and see how this works that looks fine um, that looks okay um, I'm not going to do anything real specific there for the dirt simply because I don't really feel that the dirt should actually move um, you'll still get that illusion of the dirt moving whenever we completely do the rig here so let's go ahead and select the bottom portion of our pot here skin bind skin smooth bind okay so now our bottom pot is actually brought in here um, now there are a couple different ways that we can go ahead and actually control this uh, I think the easiest way is just use our simple IKSC or um, single chain solver here so let's just go ahead and select our top joint for our pot go ahead and draw that out and you can see that our pots gonna move there so let's go ahead and just select that joint and go ahead and add it to a layer just so that we don't draw any IK handles um, on top of that we actually want to go ahead and draw it for the bottom base here so we'll go ahead and select our IK handle tool go ahead and draw that out and now you can see where our um, bottom pots gonna move this might be a little bit too much in terms of the actual control for the the bottom pot but that sort of looks good um, so we can go ahead and leave that let's just go ahead and make sure it's back at where we want it to be here Okay, so let's go ahead and delete that layer one there and go ahead and create some control curves for our pod here and I'm just going to open up a custom CC curve creator that we've been using here let's go ahead and create our pot shape here and I don't think that there's actually one here that I want to use so let's go ahead and just use our wizard controllers here and we will go ahead and use the I guess this would be like a cylinder shape okay so we'll go ahead and select that hit shift P 
to make sure that that's actually not grouped or in the null group here. So we'll go ahead and delete that null group real quick. Okay, go ahead and select this, and we can just simply call this the CC pot main one. Okay, and we'll go ahead and scale this down here. Just move it up, and we're going to go ahead and select these top verts. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the the actual joints so that I don't select them whenever I select the vertices here. Okay, go ahead and scale this out. Okay, go ahead and duplicate this down so that this will be the bottom portion of our pot here. Okay, just grab all those verts, go ahead and bring them down, scale them in. Uh, say like right there should be fine. Okay, oh, I forgot to turn off my IK handle so I don't select those as well. Go ahead and select those bottom portions, go ahead and scale those in a little bit. Just go ahead and move it down. Okay, so now we have both of those in here. We're going to rename this the pot base. Okay, go ahead and select both of them. Freeze the transformations and center the pivots on those. And we need to go ahead and just color them. Um, the top one here can probably be any color that you want. I'm going to go ahead and use green. Um, for the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and use yellow. Okay, go ahead and close that. Yeah, and if you want, you can actually go ahead and create our um, your global control, but I'm not going to go ahead and do that right away. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn back on our joints, turn back on our IK handles. So we just need to go ahead and select which one here that we need. Okay, so let me just go ahead and re-add this joint um, to its own layer here. Go ahead and turn that off, and I just want to make sure that I select the correct one here. Okay. So we'll go ahead and shift, uh, select the base part control hit P to make sure that that's parented. So now when we move this, you can see the bottom portion of our pot's going to move. Okay. This main one's going to be for the overall control of the pot. And I want to go ahead and create another control here. So we'll go ahead and relaunch our rig controllers. And we can simply just use a. Uh, a four direction here if we want or if you don't want to go ahead and use that you can use a cross go ahead and just scale that up and move it out and we'll go ahead and just try and place that properly right in the middle there okay go ahead and close that if we want and we'll just call this the CC pot um, sway which I'm so I'm sort of using the same um, layout for the pot that basically you would create for um, like a standard bipedal rig or like a puppet rig so we'll go ahead and freeze the transformations and center the pivot on that we just need to go ahead and color that middle one so we'll just go ahead and call that blue or maybe yellow yellow would probably be a better um, symbolization there so okay we'll go ahead and delete that layer one okay just go ahead and add this joint chain to its own layer and just making sure that I'm going to select the the right IK handle here. I need to go ahead and actually add that to that layer. Okay. So now we have the the right IK handle there. Go ahead and shift select the pot sway control. Go ahead and hit P to parent it to that. Okay. So now you can see where our pot's going to basically sway. Okay. I'm going to take my top joint, hit P, or shift select the the pot global control and making sure that that's actually going to be in there I want to go ahead and select the um, pot sway control shift select the global go ahead and hit P to parent that so now you can see our pots going to move but you're also going to have the control to be able to go ahead and do that okay and we're basically going to use the same setup here for the bottom Okay, so I just need to go ahead and bring back my rig controller here. Go ahead and create a cross. Go ahead and try and place that in the middle there. Freeze the transformations and center the pivots there. Okay, we'll go ahead and rename this the CC pot base sway. Okay, go ahead and color this as well. 
and you can make this any color that you want um, let's go with pink so we'll leave it like that okay go ahead and, oh, let me go ahead and move this out of the way there go ahead and delete that layer one re-add that to a to a new layer there making sure that we get the right one there okay go ahead and add that and we need to just simply select our um, OK for our base go ahead and shift select the pot sway base and now you can see where that's going to move the way that I want it okay and then we will select our base joint select our pot base global hit P to parent that so now you can see where this is basically going to parent and move but we just need to go ahead and parent the um, pot base sway to the actual pot base global so now you have full control over that and then we will take the pot base global shift select the pot top sway or you can actually go ahead and parent it to the um, pot top or you know the pot base global which is probably the better solution because if we went and actually parented to this you're probably going to get a little bit of um, in terms of weird controls um, it's not too bad um, so either one's actually going to work there I'll really leave that up to you guys um, but the construction of the actual outliner you can see where it's really clean now and if we select that pot one global you can see where the the entire global pot's going to move so um, I'll just leave that up to you guys in terms of how you actually want to go ahead and parent that but you can see where you know you have some really cool control there okay so we just go ahead and actually place this back where we want so um, that'll conclude the first portion of our um, rigging of our flower and that's just to, to get the rig construction completely out there um, when we go ahead and come back in the second part we'll be going ahead and actually starting with the um, their overall major controls of the rig and actually like cleaning up the outliner and making sure that everything is going to be tied together before we go ahead and um, do our facial rigging and, and stuff like that so um, I broke it down like this so that you guys wouldn't really get over um, whelmed here so I hope you guys enjoyed this first part and so come on back and uh, watch the second part